Hi, I'm Jordan from Piggly.com. Today we're going to learn how to achieve a super distressed crackle finish on this vintage drum table. We're going to layer two colors on top of each other to make this table look like it's been around for centuries. For this project, we're going to use the Americana Decor Chalky Finish Paint in two colors. We chose Vintage and Refreshing. We're also going to use the Crackle Medium to achieve that nice aged crackled look. Once our piece is complete, we're going to seal it up with the Ultra Matte Varnish to give it a nice matte finish so it'll really look like it's been around for a while. We're also going to use two brushes, a larger brush to apply the paint and then a smaller brush to apply the crackled finish. To achieve a crackled finish, we always start with a base coat of paint, followed by the crackled medium, and then a second coat of a somewhat contrasting color. For my first coat of paint, I chose to use the color Vintage, which is a nice pale shade of blue. I love the natural color of this wood, so I want to kind of work with it when I distress and crackle this piece. So for my first coat of paint, rather than using a full coverage coat, I'm just going to lightly dip the brush into the paint and sort of apply a very light streaky coat, allowing some of that natural wood color to show through. This will ensure that once we crackle our piece with the second coat of paint, we'll still see some of that wood. So as you can see, we completed our first coat of vintage on our table. And it's only about a half hour later and it's already dry to the touch. So the next step is to lightly apply the crackle medium over the entire table. You don't really need a real heavy coat of this. Just enough to kind of lightly coat the piece. So it's been about a half hour since we applied the crackle finish over our table and it looks like it's pretty much dry to the touch. So as I mentioned, for my top coat I chose the color refreshing. I just thought it was a nice contrast with that pale vintage blue. So the weight of our top coat depends on how thick and large we want our cracks to be. So I want to kind of have smaller cracks on this piece, so I'm going to apply a very thin top coat. I would go a lot heavier on my top coat if I wanted real wide and large cracks. So similar to our first coat, I'm just going to sort of lightly dry brush right on top of our crackle finish. We're, we're still going to allow some of that natural wood color to show through. After about 10 minutes, we can already start to see those beautiful cracks develop. See, you can definitely notice the two different tones of paint along with that natural wood color peeking through. Kind of get a peek at what that dry brushing did in addition to the crackle effect. Definitely makes this look like a period piece that's been painted a few times and swapped for centuries. About an hour after applying the final coat of paint, you should be just about dry especially with a smaller piece like this with a very light top coat. So we're going to go ahead and apply the Americana Decor Ultra Matte Varnish. And I like to use a heavy duty paper towel to apply my top coats just because it goes on real smooth. So basically, in kind of a straight line motion, you're going to apply a real thin, thin coat right over the top of your piece, over the entire piece. And this is going to cure the paint 
and make it so you have a nice durable surface. So I just finished sealing our table and it looks like we're done. We just transformed this boring old piece into a table that's packed with character. It looks like it could have been passed down for decades. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial.